This video is in collaboration with a group of landscape photographers here on YouTube. There will be new videos added to the playlist all month, so make sure to check it out in the description box after watching to see what they're up to. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the vlog. Today you join me, I'm at the coast of Ireland, I'm in Dingle and I'm on Slayhead Drive, which is one of my most favorite places to go take some photographs. And today I'm armed with my Sigma 150 to 600. And this is a lens that I got to take some photographs a couple of years back actually of the deer in Killarney. But it's an excellent lens now to be able to shoot in the conditions that I have today because with the long lens, I can shoot the islands that are off the coast here of Dingle. But also with the lens hood, I can get underneath the sun that's actually breaking through the clouds at the moment. So I'm hoping that I'll manage to get a couple anyway of light rays that are coming down and lighting up these islands. Additionally, it's my last day having the uh, EOS R5 and that has IBIS which is in body image stabilization. So I'm wondering will I be able to get better photographs handheld. That's all I want to do today is take photographs handheld with this beast of a lens. I'm also going to try and get some photographs of waves and try and get some details as well within those waves because with the R5 again with the higher uh, megapixels I think it will be a very good combination to apply both of these together. Now the R5 uses uh, an RF uh, mount. This is an EF mount, but I have my RF to EF adapter, which I normally use anyway for my own EOS R, and I've never seen any changes whatsoever or any issues by using it. So that's what we're going to do today. Let's see how we get on with this fleeting light of the islands on the beautiful coast of Ireland. <music> Right now the sun is just poking through some clouds and it's lighting me up here ever so slightly but I can see now that the light is coming over towards me so I have to really be thinking on my feet here and being quick to follow that light as always really in landscape photography but the beauty with this lens as you can see here at its 600mm it really is a monster of a lens and that allows me to be able to fill the frame with certain items that I wouldn't normally be able to get on my 70 to 200 and also once I do get that light I think it's going to give a very very nice photograph with the combination like I would have said of the built-in IBIS and then the uh, image stabilization built into this lens. Actually as you're here now right behind you here I just want to get a very very quick photograph here because I can see that the waves are breaking and the light is actually crashing off of the rocks below me that are on the distance over here. Now it's actually a place that I've taken photographs of before when we were in a big storm and we had some uh, waves with water crashing right up onto uh, an old schoolhouse that was used in the movie of Ryan's Daughter. So I'm going to take a shot here now on that and actually even at 600 mil I'm too close believe it or not. So I'm actually having to zoom out right now and grab that shot of the light and the waves as they crash right against the cliff below me. But it's absolutely beautiful down here. If you've ever visited Dingle you'll know you come out to the Slayhead Drive. It's a photographer's paradise. I've always said it's my favourite place in all of Ireland to come take photographs and I do think today now the way that I've got the gaps in the clouds I'm going to get some nice shots and also armed with this beast I think I'm going to be able to get some good images overall. So yeah let's go and I'll show you what I'm looking at in a moment. <music> As you can see here now you got the 
uh, cliffside and you can see the spray coming up now as well also from the waves that are crashing below and it's been caught nicely by the sun. So what I'm aiming to do is to take that photograph of the light and the mist and the good combination of the sheen off the rocks as well and then with the waves as well breaking below that. Now that cloud that I mentioned a moment ago there as well does seem to be breaking up for a moment so I'm going to look around now and see where that light is going to continue to move to but even as it is right now at this point it looks absolutely phenomenal. So yeah, I'll grab these shots, I'll show you those and then we'll see what we get next. Next now I've come up to a place which is Kuminol Beach in Kuminol Strand and it is a place that I love to come and take photographs. I've been here actually a number of times before and one time I did come here during a big storm and I got some incredible waves that were crashing over beyond on the headland here. If you haven't actually seen that episode I'll link to it up here but now that I'm here as well you can see there's a bit of light here behind me but I'm playing around now and just watching that light and seeing where it's going and again using the long lens here I'm picking out some certain things as the light would hit it. Over on the Blaskets actually a moment ago here which is one of the islands that are off the coast there was a slight stream of light hitting the side of the cliff and I managed to get a shot of that as well hopefully it would have turned out but I do think now here what I'm going to do is look at the waves that are crashing below me because it's coming up close to high tide so I'm around about two hours away from high tide so I should start seeing some of those uh, waves increase and hopefully I'll be able to get right in and get a couple of nice shots as well of the detail within the waves with the long lens. So yeah that's what we're going to aim to try and do anyway here. Let's see how we go. This was absolutely phenomenal actually. I got some great light that was hitting the Blasket Islands over and then also behind me here you can just make it out as the Skelligs and the Skelligs is something actually that has made famous because of Star Wars and they're lying just off the coast here in Dingle. What I also did then is I went down below me here and I spotted kind of a feeding frenzy that was going on with seagulls so it was while I was taking the photographs of the waves I could notice that there was a number of seagulls that were dancing in and out of the water. So I went down a bit further here and what you have is a thing called the devil's horns which is two pieces of rock that stick up and all the seagulls were flying all around that so by taking the photographs as well there of the seagulls it was really good because you get a nice bit of depth within the image. One thing that really did impress me as well was the speed of focus on the R5. In combination with the Sigma 150-600 to 600, it was bang on. The amount of photographs that I was able to take with the birds and their sharp was incredible. Now I also noticed a downside to the R5 because I have this on high speed continuous so it's taking a ridiculously amount of fast images um, every second. So I've had to actually go back in now which I never do but I've had to do it now today is to go back in and actually start reviewing the images in the field and start deleting images. I have a 64 gig card in this and I actually filled it. So I had to go back in and start taking out some images to create space for me to put more shots on. But yeah I'm going to finish up here now in this area and I'm going to go 
back over to the other side of the peninsula and I'm going to go to Claher Beach because with the high tide now that's coming in, I should get some nice waves as well coming in there. So I'll show you a couple more images then from here and we'll head back over and then that'll probably be our final spot for today's shoot. So where I'm at now is Clogher Strand and it's an absolutely beautiful beach. Don't have that much really of swells, but I've got a nice bit of curving on the waves as they break here on the shore. It's a very, very dangerous beach. I've been here actually before, I was featured on my videos, but you can't actually go swimming there because the riptide and the rip current that's here drags people back out. There's some really, really nice light as well now on the horizon, so hopefully I get something uh, nice for sunset. I'm going to finish up this episode, so if you want to see if I get anything for sunset, check back in again next week and you'll see the next adventure that will continue up on the headland over here, um, which is Clatter Head. So I've really enjoyed my afternoon here with the Sigma 150 to 600, and it has really given me some interesting photographs again, once again, when using this lens. If it's your first time on the channel, please do hit the subscribe button, give me a like, give me a comment, and until the next time, Schlange Fall. <laughs>